Hi everyone and welcome to another episode in my Unreal Engine 4 tutorial videos. In this video we're going to be tackling the problem of how to create a double jump. So a double jump, if you don't know what it is, is the ability to jump from the floor and then whilst in the midair, jump again. So to do this we need to open up our first person character. And in there, by default, your jump will look as such, where you have the jump and then jump function and the stop jumping on released. Now this will only work for a single jump. However, I want to make it a double jump. Important to note, the code we're about to do here will work for any character that you have playable in your game. So let's get started. I'm actually going to delete these two functions here, jump and stop jumping, as we don't need them. And what powers a double jump is quite simply off the press, we're doing a do n. If you scroll down, you'll find do n in the flow control section. What the do n node does, it basically allows the code to pass through it a certain number of times as defined by you until it, that number ends. When that counter has reached the end, it will no longer go through this node. We can then also reset that counter so it can return going through that node. So the reset, we want to be on when it lands on the ground. So fortunately, there's a function, for, uh, an event for this. So event on landed. From there, into our reset. So when we reset our counter, it's reset back to zero. We want to change the default value of our counter to two to allow us to double jump. That means it will pass through this twice. Then from exit, we're going to come off of here and do launch character. Now the reason we, why we have to use launch character and not simply the jump function, as you saw earlier, I'll try and get it up, there we are, rather than using this, is because this will only work when the player is touching the floor. This doesn't. So this is kind of useless for second jumping. So rather than using the jump, we're going to manually launch it in the air through the launch character node. Now the target is itself, because we're launching ourselves, but the launch velocity is the direction and speed that we want to jump in. And for this, we're going to use our character movement code that we already have set up in place. The character movement component has loads of variables associated to it, including, as you can see here, the jump Z velocity. Drag your component for your character movement out, and then from there, you want to type in get jump Z velocity. And in there, we'll have a float. This float will connect to the Z value of our velocity. So right click on your launch velocity and choose split, and plug your launch velocity Z with that function, uh, that uh, float there. Lastly, we need to tick this Z override. And what that does, it basically counteracts the downward force. So if you're falling through the air and you push the jump key, with that turned off, what that will do is it will cancel out the downward force and basically stop you midair, sort of like a hover, before you fall back down to the ground because of gravity. What we want to do is allow it to launch the character consistently the same height, same speed, same direction, every time, no matter what. So we're using the Z override to achieve that. Click Compile and then go and test your game. I'll push space bar once, jump. Space bar twice, I can now double jump. And now we can use this double jump to create interesting platforming challenges for our game, such as climbing on these boxes. And there you have it, double jump. Quick, simple, and easy to do. If you've enjoyed this video, and you enjoy any of my videos, please subscribe to the channel to get updates on the latest videos uploads. If you want to support me and the channel, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Ailey and a donation as simple as $1 will get access to all the videos nice and early, up to two months early before anyone else, as well as access to Discord and many other benefits. So support me just like these people have, and thank you to everyone who has supported me thus far. And a big shout out to those of my top patrons who have supported me in the channel. It's through your help that I'm able to get one step closer to making this my full-time job. So thank you. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys.